10 points. Snack's turning up a little bit. And he's got the basketball. Ballas, stuck. Schnur on the baseline. Trying to get room. Put up a floater. It's short. That's the problem with those floaters. you got to make sure you put a lot on them. You're falling away from the basket. Taking a little off with it. Now Davidson from Crawfordsville. Yes. And Jack Davidson is playing out of his mind this weekend. He's got 29 already, 51-43. He had 37 last night in the win over Barry. 51-43, 19 20 left in regulation. Stuck to Ballas. Ballas inside, looking for Martin. Martin to Freed, and Freed is going to get fouled off the rebound. Freed only played about a minute in the first half. Picked up two quick fouls on the show of the bench. Second foul on Schreiber. And it's going to be Max Freed to the line, averaging four and a half points, shooting 58%. 51-43 with 19-10 to go. Short. You can see that one all the way. And you see the trainer racing off. He's got one of Wabash's bench players, Sam Hedlund, with him. Hit the heel. But Martin. Are they alternating or are they going to give Martin? They're going to put the foul on Martin over the back. Yeah. Be on Schreiber. Mm -hmm. foul on Schreiber. Two quick fouls on Schreiber. He's gonna have to come out. He has 13 points. Emery will inbound. High lob to Schneer. Schneer uses by to get room, but goes to stuck now. Martin. There's Ballas on the near wing. Ballas. Eyes a three, but now we'll give it up. Schneer checks his footing after the. That after the pass from three, there Schnurr goes off to the left, right. Emery started the first half cold too, but eventually they caught fire. Had a huge run, took a seven point lead. And Davidson can't hit the three, but he'll get fouled. That's on Fallon. That's his third. They're giving Jack Davidson three shots here. lead for Wabash as Hedgewood comes back in. And now he's got 30. Second shot, good. 31. Finch, I mean Davidson averaging 25 and a half. We made all three. 32 points now, and it's 54-43. Largest lead for Wabash was 10. Now it's 11. Emery's got some work to do. Schneer trying to get three. Puts up just before his feet hit the floor and got it. That's 12 for Schneer. And timeout for...
to Jones. He tried a three and he got it. Two straight threes from Armani Jones. Leads back up to 14 points, 68, 40, 62, 48. Inside, looking for Sharon. They're double teaming Sharon. Now back out. Stuck into the corner for Martin. Let's it fly short. Jones with the rebound. Now Watson has it tipped away, right to snare. Here comes Martin Saunders at home. Dale Martin with the dunk. And the leads a dozen. 62-50, 15-33 in regulation. That tries to get the Emory fans going. Foul before the drive. up his third foul and comes out. Cale Martin comes out as well. 16-27 left. Emory down by 12. 15 to go. They open it up for they open it up for Watson. He drove but couldn't get it in. Emory collapsed almost immediately. Roman Williams from the from the corner. No. Got his own rebound. He'll go up strong. Can't get it. Schnur with it. That goes. <laughs> Jones couldn't get it in. 
Emery again. That's stuck on the coaster, can't get it. And a late foul on Wabash. That'll be the third foul on, who are they gonna get that on? At least Tyler Watson. No, actually it's gonna be on Jones. Jones picks up the personal, and Emory's got the ball back. They're down by 11, 66-55. Roman Williams, he's going to go right side, kicks it out to kicks it out to uh, free. Fallis, south with the ball away, good. And Fallis with seven. Oh, there it is. Makes it 66-57, 13-30 left. This is Davidson. Davidson trying to get him off the screen. It's a deep hole. Hall kicks it out to number 12. That's Raymond. No. And a late foul on the three. It'll be on Williams. He can't believe it. That's three on Roman Williams. Williams with three fouls. Emery's starting to, Emory's starting to accumulate the fouls. Wabash still shooting at 57.5%. And now Raymond with three with three foul shots. And there's one. And there's two more. Hasn't scored. But for that bucket. Second shot. Good. So Raymond now with two. And here comes number three. Up and no, went to the right. And Schneer gets the rebound. Schneer, I'm sorry, that's stuck. And he almost got it stuck. Layup did fall back to Wabash. 13 minutes away. 68 57, they're up by 11. That's Amani Jones. He throws it. 14 for Jones. He's had a bunch of threes in the half. Wabash is now hitting nine of them. Nine of 16 from three. 71 57. Stuck. And Wabash's crowd is really getting into this one. Driving, kicking out, and stepping out of bounds with Shanahan off the entry pass for, for Stuck. It's going to be Wabash basketball again. They're up by 14. This is their largest lead, 71-57. And having a little bit of issue. I think they want the crowd somewhat quiet before they inbound the basketball. Now we're ready to go. Out. Davidson with it. He'll get it to Raymond on the far side. Raymond with it. Raymond chest pass to Watson. Watson can't get free. Gets it Davidson who comes around. Now they see Jones. Jones steps back. Won't take the three. He will drive. Wants to do a post pass but can't get it. Now back to Davidson. Shot clock at four. Davidson moves. Takes a three and it's going to bounce out. Schneer with the board. Good possession for Emery. And Davidson with 34 points tonight. 11.55, Williams will let it fly. Good! And that's an eight for Ramon Williams. 71 to 60, 11.43 to go in regulation. Here's a try of defense. And Marina, 2 2 1. Watson almost took an extra step, gets it to Jones. Imani Jones, no. Now Davidson over the head pass to, to Watson. He'll let it fly, and no. Shot clock was at three, had to get rid of it. In a good position for the rebound for Emery, and almost knocked it in on the wrong basket, but instead it will go to Stuck. Stuck gets it to Schneer, back to Stuck. Now Stuck moving around. He finds in. Find Shanahan back to Schneer, fall away, no, and it won't fall. Too much on the heel. And Schneer with 14. Leads Emory in scoring. It's 71-60 with 10.54 to go 
in our second quarter of action. Winner advances to the Sweet 16 of NCAA Division III. Now Davidson, and it's short. Davidson has missed his last two threes. Through the hands. Oh, that's a good ball by Free to get the, to get, uh, sorry. Free got the stuck, stuck got it. And then Schneer with the rebound and the foul. Sixteen for Schneer. Now on, now on Hall, his second. All right, Schneer to the line, shooting a conversion. This to make it an eight-point game, 71-63. Schneer eyes it, puts it up, and good. So Schneer with 17. Emery down by eight, 71-63. Okay. 10.20 left. Hall tried to see it racing into Chiba, and he'll go to Emory. Jesse Hall tried to feed with Chiba, went off him, and Emory's got the ball back. Down by eight, and we get closer to the halfway point of the second half. 10.13 left. Emory trying to come back from a 71-63 deficit. High lob in. Schneer posts up. Good. And Schneer with 19. 71-65. Now down by six. 9.50 remaining. Inside to Hall. Hall is open, but he won't take the shot. Set by Buccilla, who goes baseline. Comes back out to Davidson. Davidson, yes. And Davidson with 37. Sixty-four, sixty-five, nine point deficit. They got to climb up out of. Now this is the man they want. Schneer, Schneer, bumping on corner, dishes to the near side, getting in the air, no good for uh, Greg Lawrence. Ball sticks out, and it's going to go to Wabash. Wabash. Well, now Watson gets through a double team, putting up a soft shot. It won't fall. Back to Davidson. Davidson from three. Good. And that's 40 for Jack Davidson. And it's back to a dozen. 77-65 with 8.54 remaining. And that's Schnur with the basket. He's got 21. 77-67 with 8.40 to go. to the near side and Fuchilla. Here's Watson. Watson, no, can't do anything. Double team. Finds a bullet pass to Fuchilla. Now the other side. And where they find Jesse Hall. Corner. One second. And that one does not fall for Fuchilla as he was racing the buzzer. Emery sees Wabash working the clock. Down by 10 as we hit the 8-minute mark. Hale Martins with it. Bumping in, bumping in, left hand, good. That's 10 for Martins. Lead back down to eight, 77-69. We have 7.47 to go. Corner tried to dish it away. Instead, right in the arms of match three where they find Schnur, Schnur with the layup. And now Schnur with 23 and it's back to six. 77, 71, 725 to go. Defense back into this. Looking in is Schreiber with Chilla all along the top of the corner and won't go. Emery with the rebound. That's Martins comes up with it. Couple big offensive defensive rebounds for Martins. Martins with the ball as Emery down by six. They get into the match. That man Schneer. Schneer into the paint. Puts up left hander and it bounced out. It was Schreiber who got the rebound. Back 
to Wabash as we hit 647. Ball's free, Schner dove for it. Watson got it back. Now back to Buchilla. Shot clock at 14. And reach in foul on Schner. And it's only his second. And timeout. Wabash inbounds after the foul on Schnur. As we get back to live action. They're up by six points with 6.30 remaining. Davidson, nice pass to Schreiber. And it got blocked from behind by Martins. And Kale gets called for the foul. That's his first. Team seven. shot for Schreibner is good. Seventy-eight, seventy-one. Schreibner now with 14 points. Second one, no. So it's a seven point advantage. 78, 71, 620 left for Emory. They're down by a touchdown. Nick Stuck finds Roman Williams inside to Schneider. That's where they want to go. Let Schneer do the work. Instead, he finds Stuck. Stuck will drive. Stuck, put it up, and it bounced out, and it kicked out. It'll stay with Emery. That was Raymond who kicked it out. Emery will redo it. They get it in to number 22, Max Free. He's back in after picking up his third foul. Roman Williams, Sutter steps, left side, goes under baseline. Now we'll make a U-turn and kick it back out, shot clock at eight. Emery, gonna move, that's gonna be stuck. No, Martins gets the rebound. But he throws it away looking for Martins. And it goes to Emery. It goes to Emery. on the shot. 5.41 remaining. They're down by 7. Still plenty, plenty of time. Now the referees will stop play. And they're going to check something with the score table. Your officiating crew, Damon Williams, is the head ref. He's going to be helped out by Haywood Bostick and Scott Bennett. Inside to Schneer. Schneer, short on the one-hander. Got his own rebound and put it in. Now Schneer with 25. And Emery down by five. 78-76. Tries the defense. This could be another epic Emery comeback as we hit the 5-13 mark. Stumbling is Watson, but he's Keeps it upright as they go to Schreiber, working on Martin. No, Martin stripped him. Emery on the outlet. They find Free. Free will take it himself. Good, he got fouled. Max Free picks up his first two points. And the foul will be assessed against Davidson. Hard to believe that's his first foul of the night. This to make it a two-point game, 78-76. Free. Hasn't had much of a factor because of the foul situation. And he got it. He's got three. 78-76. And the Emory crowd, both crowds are in. Now Raymond finds Watson. Watson to Amani Jones. Jones, keep wanting to go in. There's a fall away. It's short. And Emery gets the board. This to tie it up. 
with 4.32 remaining. Working perimeter to Roman Williams. Williams sees room and retire. 10 for Roman Williams, 78 all. 4.20 left. Emery has come back from a 14 point deficit to tie the ball game. Again, the winner advances to the Sweet 16. Driving in is Tyler Watson, double team, has to kick it out to Davidson. Davidson, if he can get free for a three, they want it. Back to Davidson. Davidson loses the ball. Stealing it is Edrich Raymond. He tried to call a PST. And they got it. A PST is short for a possession saving timeout. Seventy-eight all in the Wabash Little Giants. They got six seconds on the shot clock. Davidson. Back to Watson. They're tying Watson up. Watson stretches at the buzzer to get a shot off and he blocks him in. Wow. Through the double team, Watson gets the three ball. Makes it 81-78 with 3.40 remaining. And that's the foul on Jones, his second. Actually, I'm sorry, they called it on Watson. Foul on Watson. And it's going to be Emery with the inbound. Long outlet to Cole Martins from Stuck. Martins to Freed. Freed will dish it to Schneer. Schneer from the elbow. Good. And Schneer with 27. Schneer sits one point off the record for most points scored in a season. That's going to hit the heel. And Williams with the, bo with the board. It's 609. Matthew Schneer has 608. He needs one more point for the to tie two to get the record. But Emery would much rather have the ball game. And they get into Schneer's hands. This is for the record, and it, it's short. Back to Wabash. They're up by a point. We're under three minutes remaining, 81 to 80. The winner advances to the Sweet 16. Oh, that's a good shot from the elbow by Imani Jones. He's got 16, and it's a three-point game. 83 to 80, 240 to go. Stuck with the ball. Stuck. Wants to go left side. There's no room for him. So we'll kick it out to Schnur. Schnur needs one point to tie the record two to get it. Williams from the baseline. I'm sorry, from the elbow. It's good. Roman Williams with 12. 83-82, 212 to go. We're gonna have a barn burner here to, to end this one. You can feel it. Davidson. I say he is, I mean he's had 40, but we haven't heard from him lately. Now, this is Jones. Good. Boy, Jones has turned it up. He's turned it up. It's 85-82. 147 remaining. Martins has it. We'll hand it off to Schnurr. And getting in Schnurr's face with uh, Schreiber. And that also going to hit high. And Schneer trying to get that record or at least get Emery to within a point. 125 remaining. 85-82. Watson. To Raymond. Now here's Davidson. Again, they're going to work the clock down. And that's a that one hit the heel and died from Watson. Emery gets the board. We got a minute left. Emery down by three. Now Emery just has to. Again, that's where they're going to go. Schnur. Schnur. No, he finds free. Free. That looks good. No, it kicked off the heel right into the arms of Schreiber. Boy, it looked good from this angle, I tell you. Now, we're not at the automatic fouling portion yet. We're close to it, but we're not there yet. Wabash going to work the clock as we get under 30 seconds. Now they're going to go. Now they're going to get a shot, try to get the rebound. And instead, it's Cole Martin with the foul. 
Marks will pick up his second. Emory shooting 46.5%, and Wabash now shooting 53.7. Amazing this team. Sh shooting percentage, such a high clip. Now here's Jack Davidson. This is who they want. Shot clock's off. It's a one and one. Just to make it a four point and maybe a five point ball game. Front end on the one and one. Schnur already has a triple double. Matthew Schnur with a triple double as Davidson now with 41 points. He has 27 points, 14 rebounds, 10 assists. And Davidson makes both of them. Well, it's now 87 82, 23 seconds to go. And there's no too strong as Stuck Crow. But he got fouled. And he will go to the line with 20 seconds remaining. And that's four on Tyler Watson. 19 seconds remaining. shot is good. Emory needed that. That's Stuck's first point in the second half. He's got nine. 87-83. Now they got now. Shot clock's off, so Emory's going to have to foul as soon as Wabash inbounds. Missed it off the heel, and Davidson tried to get the possession saving time. Now he went out of bounds, but he couldn't get it. Couldn't get the PST as he went out of bounds. Emory calls timeout. 17.6 seconds, 17.6 seconds to go. They need a three, and hopefully, your Emery maybe get fouled while taking the shot. Now, Emery, they get it into Schnur. Schnur trying to get free, he'll take it. And he drained it! And that's the record, folks! 87-86, 11 seconds to go. With that three ball, Matthew Schnur gets 610 points and goes every single season record. Now the foul is on Williams, his fourth. And who's taking Jack Davidson with the foul? Even if he makes both, Emory can tie it with a three. And he missed it. He missed it. Front end of the one and one. Emory's basketball. Eight seconds. Now it's stuck to Schnur. They wanted his hands. This is for the game. It's bouncing. No. Coming in is Martin. No. And that's not there. Not there. And the Wabash Little Giants survived. Martin's almost had the dunk on the rebound. Stuck came through. 